गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज अवसर सर आई एम टीचिंग इकोनॉमिक्स इन एच एम कॉलेज करा इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द कंजम्पन फंक्शन एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट फंक्शन फर्दर आई एम वॉन्ट डिस्कस सम थिंग्स विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दैट कंजम्पन फंक्शन हियर आई हैव रिटर्न सम पॉइंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन कंज्यूमर स्पेंडिंग एंड द वेरियस फैक्टर्स डिटरमाइनिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल द फैमिल लेवल फॉर इन इट इंक्लूड इनकम वेल्थ इनकम वेल्थ एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड रिस्क अबाउट फ्यूचर इनकम नॉट आई अंडरस्टैंड Each every one here relationship between consumer spending. See, consumer spending depend upon the income income of a person. For example, rich persons their consumer spending their spending is different. The spending for poor people is different. So it is important the relationship between consumer spending and the various factors determining what determine. For example, definitely money determines spending here. Again, the family level it includes income, bill, expectation, and this about future income. So, income of every family is different. Conditions of bill also different. Expectation about futures are different, and the same time about the risk about future income. We are going to discuss all these points in consumption function. Now, the next point that is about the investment function. What do you mean by investment function? Here, investment function it is fixed relationship between. the capital stock and the output capital stock and the output what what kind of investment is there how you are going to invest what you are going to think about your future and in last in my last lecture i discuss about the businessmen how they are going to see or how they are going to invest their money and how they are going to take profit in future so all these points are very important consumption function and the same time about the investment function now the last point which is remaining that is about the business cycle theories of business cycle now try to understand the students who are in 12th standard in your books they have just only given one line sentence that is business cycle okay but here for your understanding i am going to explain that point in detail business cycle because this point is very important and i think for commerce students it is very important to try to understand about the business cycle somewhere they are uh, they are going to call it as a trade cycle but in your books they have given as a business cycle so i i am going to use that term here theory of business cycle or trade cycle before going to discuss about this point first i will draw one diagram with help of diagram i will explain the points blackboard i have drawn one diagram gdp level and the time here i am going to discuss all these points with these two point that is gdp level and income here some point one point is at the top one point is at the bottom the help of these points actually i am going to discuss about the four phases of business cycle what we mean by business cycle with the help of these four points this stage it is called as a prosperity stage or somebody is called as a boom first stage that is about prosperity or boom here this stage is called as a recession point number second that is prosperity point number 1 about the prosperity point number second is about the recession point number third here that is about the depression and this point or you can call it as a this point as a recovery point so try to understand first important point that is business cycles are very important 
or you cannot cancel business cycle. It may possible that phases, some, some will, it will take 5 years, 2 years, 3 years, but it is not possible for any economy to cancel business cycle. So with the help of these points, we will discuss about the four important stages of business cycle or trade cycle. So first, here I have written about the prosperity or boom stage, point number one. You can see that on the, in this diagram, this point is at the top, prosperity or boom. When economy is in good conditions, all people, they are very happy, the businessmen, they are getting profit or the person who is interested for employment here, also you can find employment here, prosperity or boom. This stage is very important. But see, in economy, this stage will not remain as it is. Definitely some kind of flow is there. That is, the, the economy will definitely come down after some time. That is, that point is about the second, that is point about the recession. Here, third point that is about the depression level, depression level and again, economy will come upward. Recession and depression, these two stages are very dangerous for economy. Here, nobody is interested for this recession or nobody is interested for depression level also. But it is, it is not possible to cancel all these stages. And again, some, after some time, it will come towards the point that is about the recovery. So I will explain all these points one by one. Here, for example, one stage that is about the first stage that is about the prosperity. Here I am going to write about the first stage, number one. Prosperity or you can call it as a boom condition. Again, I have mentioned that in this condition, this stage is very important. This stage is very, uh, every person is interested or a businessman is interested for this stage. Or the person who is having some kind of employment, wants some kind of employment, is also interested for this condition. But again, I have mentioned that this condition will not remain as it is. After some time, definitely, it will come down. Recession will come, that, that after that time, the depression will come. Again, economy will come upward stage, that is about the recovery. The first stage, that is about the prosperity. Prosperity, here, Low, what is the characteristic of prosperity state? Low level of unemployment. Low level of employment. The person who is interested for employment definitely will get uh, employment. He, he should be employed in this stage. So every person having some kind every person having some kind of employment, low level of employment here and again high level of consumer, high level of of consumer, high level of consumer demand, high level of consumer demand in this condition, high level of consumer demand and production. So this is characteristic of this condition, that is prosperity condition or book condition. Okay, so try to understand the students who are in 12 standard. I don't understand this point is not explained in your book. So, this point very clear in your mind. In, in your books, you are not, not going to find this problem or this discussion. Now, point number second, that is about the recession. Point number second, that is about recession. This second stage, point number three, that is about the contraction. Here, what is characteristic? Contraction. Contraction when there is a when there is there is a when there is a decrease in economic activity. Decrease in economic activity. Economic activity, decrease in economic activity. Business see less demand here. Less demand is there. Less demand. Less demand is there and begin to and begin to lose money. Now for this point, see the diagram. Here Prosperity stage, where high, low level of unemployment. Every person is employed, having some kind of good condition. Again, when economy comes down, we here we attend the second point, the recession. Then contraction means there is a decrease in economic activity. Here decrease. You can see. Suppose this is point zero. You can find point zero is going to attend in this diagram recession. That is contraction when there is a decrease in economic activity. Less demand is there. People they are not demanding. 
and again they will begin to lose money. In this condition is also important. When you discuss or when you see this slide, and definitely you can understand first two stages very clearly. Prosperity is that at the top, and second point that is about the recession. Now the first this point is actually third point, second point number. This is point number second. Point number one, point number three. Point number second. I'm going to discuss about point number second. That is depression. Point number second, or you can write here as is depression. You can write depression here. And here again, you can write about the recession. No point, no doubt. And point number four, that is about the recovery. Now, point number second. I discuss about the point number second. That is about the depression. Here, see. Here, depression means the economy is definitely going slow down. Here, you can find that depression. Yes, to second condition is about economy will definitely slow down one by one. Condition is there. Here. The economy growth rate becomes negative here. Growth rate becomes negative. Here growth rate becomes negative in this condition. There is further decline in there is further decline. Further decline in for a decline. Unit of price of factors. Unit of price of factors. This stage, that is stage number three. Over here, we can find, and here growth rate becomes negative. You see, the growth rate is going to become negative point number second. And last stage, that is four number, that is about the recovery. This point is the last point. Recovery here, economy is going to recover all the points. Recovery is the last thing here. Again, you can see economy will come, it will go upward. Again, one point will reach, there we can, you can find again prosperity is there or boom condition is there. This is cycle. And what is important for cycle? It is important that you cannot cancel cycle. In economics, it is important to understand that these cycles are always in any kind of economy it is not going to cancel you can see what is important phase may be cancelled or for example for suppose one stage will take five years after that it will take three years there is variation for years but it, there is no variation for you cannot cancel business cycles the business cycles are there in every economy okay recovery here what happens gross domestic gross domestic Gross domestic product or it's called a GDP GDP growth GDP growth comma income rises income rises and again unemployment as the economy rebounds or rises economy Rebounds. Rebounds means again here from this condition, economy will come for upward side. It's for about the prosperity or boom condition. So with this, these four points, we can discuss about the theory of business cycle or trade cycle, which is not this explanation is not in your textbook for 12th standard. So for your understanding, I explain all the points in detail. So I hope you understand all these points. So. Here we completed the point that is about the scope of macroeconomics. So thank you very much. I am going to close this for here. Thank you very much.